What is going on everybody? How you doing today? Jim Games here and in today's video I'm going to be reacting to Yarko Ola with The Show Must Go On. Uh, you might recognize that song. It's a very famous Queen song and apparently our boy Yarko, I think I'm saying his name right, probably should be at this point, uh, is going to do a cover of it. Uh, now I've heard a couple of his songs before. I heard a cover he did once uh, and then an original and this guy fascinates me. He's got one hell of a voice. This guy can sing. Let me tell you that. I'm no vocal coach, coach so I can't go through all the intricacies of, of what that's all about but uh, music tends to be my background and just the way this guy approaches music, his general sound uh, is very intriguing to me and I usually touch on those sort of things as well. Now Queen, Freddie Mercury, <laughs> you do not cover a band an artist like this without having some sort of uh, talent behind you. You know, it's just gonna it's gonna end bad. So I'm really curious to see what he's gonna do with this one. Uh, if you're new around here, please consider liking and subscribing because I do this sort of thing all the time. And without further ado, let's get right to the reaction. Let's uh, switch screens. Let's get on over there. We're gonna go big screen here. I wanna get you guys the best visual possible. Uh, this video comes from my friend Echo Warrior Princess. Uh, she's been around my channel since almost when I started. And she's been feeding me some fantastic uh, artists, especially from out in Finland. And it's been a trusted source of mine for a very long time. So she's got this YouTube channel. Check this out. You go down over here. I just subscribed. I, I recommend you guys subscribe. Uh, that has a bunch of uh, Yarko songs in there as well. So if you guys haven't already done it yet, check it out. Echo Warrior Princess X. Here we go. Let's check out the video. Is it an orchestra? It is. Okay, this is surprising. So I, I've heard this guy, you know, sing in, in, in settings that are like a, like a church, you know, like that just seems to be like his, well, one of his preferred venues, at least for the videos that I've seen. And I mean, that makes perfect sense. I mean, this guy, I mean, he's a, got a fantastic voice and uh, he, he's quite a sight to behold, but having those sort of acoustics is just, you know, absolutely perfect for a voice like that. Uh, this looks like it's a much larger venue. Like I said before, he's playing to the president right now and I did not realize it, but he's actually got a full orchestra right behind him as well. So... Yeah, okay. I'm I'm officially intrigued. Let's see what he's got. Empty spaces. What are we living for? Abandoned places. I guess we know the score. Does anybody know what we are looking for? Another hero, another mindless cry behind the curtain in the pantomime. Hold the line. Does anybody want to take it anymore? Show my score. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. Inside my heart is breaking. My mega may be flaking, but my smile still stays on. Whatever happens, I leave it all to chance. I love the trombone chug. Giving us some rasp. Do 
guitar player put some stank on it. My soul is painted by the wings of butterflies. Fairy tales of yesterday will crawl and never die. Digging how this song is building. Okay, uh, let me take this one back here. Let's, I'm gonna, yeah, let's go back here and I'll turn this down and I'll give you a visual. Uh, okay, so like I said before, you do not cover Queen unless you got the chops to back it up because it's just gonna end bad. Now I've heard a couple different covers of this song, but I can safely say right now after just listening to this, this is my favorite by a long shot. Uh, there are so many cool things happening here outside of just the the vocal impressiveness of Yarko, uh, just with his orchestra and how they implemented the electric guitar and the, the, the style is the way the timpani came in uh, and just the song structure and the flow of it uh, is just a, it's a pretty unique way to put the song together it pays tribute to the original it lets you know and it has the feeling of a queen song but it's done in an incredibly uh, beautiful organic way here uh, and then by adding the electric guitar in there too man it just sounds gorgeous with the uh, orchestra uh, the chugs of the, uh, the tuber, the trumpets there, I forget which one it was, uh, that, that got me going. I, I liked that one a lot. This was a, a fantastic uh, rendition just from the orchestra alone. But then we got this guy, Yarko. Hopefully I'm saying that guy's name right. Uh, he's putting a, a pretty expressive performance uh, in front of this. Now, in the beginning of this video, I'm like, okay, what I do respect and what I do like is he's staying kind of true to the original to a degree where he's not going like kind of above and beyond. Uh, I don't really know exactly what his vocal capabilities are, but it seems like he was staying kind of almost in his lane as this song progressed. And as we got towards the end, we got to really hear some of this guy's chops. Uh, but the beginning, it kind of just takes us in this nice little flow. Now, why do I appreciate that? Why do I appreciate him not just going off and showing off and doing whatever? Well, because what that does is it keeps the artistic integrity of this little jam going. Uh, and that's the whole idea behind it. When you have a talent, when you have a voice like this guy, it's very easy to be that guy that just shows and, you know, solos everywhere and does whatever and, and millions of people will like it and it'll be fantastic. Trust me, I know. I get sent videos of those people every day. But when an artist actually has artistic integrity and wants to push the flow of the music first uh, and him be just basically part of this conglomerate and not just, hey, this is the, the Yarko show, uh, to me, it's a little bit more deeper. I find it more impactful, uh, especially as a first-time listener trying to uh, not judge but absorb everything that is happening all at once. Uh, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. This guy never ceases to amaze me. Now, like I said before, I'm not a vocal coach, you know. Uh, my uh, a buddy of mine, Charlie, uh, the big brain singer, he's probably the guy to check out if you want to check out like a vocal breakdown of uh, what this guy can do. I know he's got a couple of videos out there, and uh, honestly, he's a joy to watch. Uh, check it out. Check him out. Big brain singer. The guy knows his stuff. Uh, I watch his videos from time to time and check out some of his live streams uh, just because it's incredibly informative. Uh, for me as a reactor, just to kind of know what I'm talking about when it does come to vocals. He's helped me out a ton, honestly, just watching his stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not a vocal coach, so I can't really touch on what he's doing, why it's fantastic. All I know is that it sounds fantastic. I know that it's very, uh, I don't, see, I don't even know the right word. <laughs> I don't even know the right word to use. I'm more of a music guy. I do appreciate the orchestra. I do appreciate how this whole thing came together, how it sounds. And I've said this before, but there's something about Finland. I don't know exactly what it is. It's really intriguing to me. I've I made the decision before I die, I'm going to go and visit Finland because it just seems like such a an interesting place to go and visit and be a part of. I don't know why. It resonates with me for some odd reason. So whenever I get a Finland artist or Finnish artist or whatever, or they come through my channel or something about Finland, I get excited and I kind of want to learn about it. I don't know why. <laughs> it just fascinates me. Uh, and this is one of those guys. 
Uh, bands like like Nightwish, like that's a big band that I'm into. At one point in time, there was a rumor going around that he might, uh, Yarko might be replacing uh, the former bass player of Nightwish. And uh, that didn't come to fruition, but people said, no, this guy is his own thing. He's too well known. He's too well celebrated in Finland. He's like a local hero to these guys um, that he, he wouldn't even do something like that. He just does his own thing. He's his own solo artist. I'm going to keep going with this guy. I'm going to keep going with him uh, because it's intriguing to me. And even though I can't tell you every little, oh, hey, there he is right now. There's Charlie right now. <laughs> There's a big singer, brain singer. See, exactly. It's telling you which, which video to go to next. Um, even though I can't go into the intricacies of what's happening vocally, the breath control, the stances, you know, all those fun little uh, facts, uh, I can touch on the music and I can touch on how it makes me feel and what it does to me uh, from a sonic level. And uh, it moved me. And Queen's one of my favorite bands, and this is officially my favorite cover of that song. Guys, if you enjoyed your time with me today, please consider liking and subscribing. I do this sort of thing all the time, and I truly appreciate you having here. Or truly, can't talk. I truly appreciate having you here. Guys, have a great night. Bye-bye.